The table has changed many a time as the Hero Indian Super League enters the business end of Season 7. That means ATK Mohan Bagan have to continue winning and continue getting three points. Their opponents tonight are Orisha FC and despite their position, it would be foolish to take any team lightly. It is match number 84. Well, Arshdeep will be disappointed with the goal he conceded in the previous game, so here's a chance for redemption. It is the same thing with the rest of the defense. Five changes and a slight change from the trusted back three as Habas goes for a four-man defense with Preetam Kotal shifting to right back. It is a changed midfield from that Kerala win. The 95th minute winner is what ATK Mohan Bagan needed the last time they played Orisha. That was then, this is now. But the talisman remains the same. Roy Krishna is back in form after a bit of a lull because even the bravest need to rest at times. But it was Marcelino's cheeky effort that triggered that 3-2 victory against the Blasters. As for Orisha, they have gone through everything that could have gone wrong in a season that was meant to give hope. And of course hope is not gone yet. Potential does not dissolve in just a season. And it's not just Diego. Cole Alexander is a vital cog in midfield. And today he will have the feisty Paul to help him in the middle of the park. Well, for many, Orisha's last game was a last gap breath that fell short at a 1-0 defeat. It was not meant to be this way. It wasn't meant to be a season where they remained bottom of the table. It wasn't meant to be a season of just one clean sheet in 14 games, of just one win. But that is how it is. ATK Mohan Bagan are on the opposite end of that spectrum. This is exactly how it was meant to be for them. Top two chasing top spot, top players and top expectations. He puts the ball in this time, not a lot of pace on it. Pronoy, Roy Krishna, Manveer, one touch, left footed effort. Oh! What a strike that is! Goes and dips like forgotten cursive and ends in the back of the net with the finality of a full stop. Wow, Manveer, one man in form, isn't he? Wow, Pulas, wow. All the talk before the game was about Marcelino and then what the mercurial man could do. As the throw-ins come in, he was the original target, but his cross has evaded everyone, and as it's gone towards the back post, I think Roy Krishna was opting to just play it out to Manveer Singh, and Manveer Singh's just turned around to Marcelino and said, anything you can do with your left foot, I can do better. That is an absolute beauty. He scored one already this season with his left foot. But he's bent that in with perfection into the top corner. That is pure, pure brilliance from the young man. Nobody is saving that. Over the top looking for Roy Krishna, who's running back and controls it expertly. Almost sets it up. There's the chance for Marcelino. And now Lenny Rodriguez from distance. It was not too far. Given the goal that Manvira scored, you can understand why he's probably expecting them, because he's in wide open space and he says, Probably felt that if they passed him, he could have had another chance, but you can't blame Lenny. David Williams returning from injury, so there's competition for places, and especially as this team will be competing in the AFC Cup oh, later. Yeah. Roy Krishna, he's got ahead of his man. Can he set up? Can he shoot? Picks out Marcelino. Arshdeep gets a touch and it's gone out. That was the moment. Just came on to his weak side. He could touch in the end. Javi. A lot of pace onto it. Marcelino sets it up, goes for it. No dip. A lot of elevation. We're looking for support. We're willing Lenny to go outside him. Manvir again with his left foot. He's been working on this. He's working on this in training. No, that's great to see young players. The, the only way you get better is as young players, you constantly work on the deficiencies in your game. You don't need to keep striking the ball with something if you're good at doing it, work on your weaker foot, and that's what this man has done. Ball from distance, oh, that was moving! Wow, that was moving! And Cole Alexander, oh, and that has gone in, would you believe it? What a game of goals we have! Orisha fight back to 1-1, Well, Manvir Singh has Cole Alexander matched two or not? What a hit first from Paul! And then Cole Alexander, Habas, has got to change his half-time team talk. Wow. Plus, that's all I can say. As Paul picked this ball up and he struck it, that is an absolute wonder strike and he almost deserved a goal. 
But then Cole Alexander, cool and calm, and he's just placed that into the far corner. He's taking a little bit of pace off it, recognizing the keepers on the far side. And that's a beautiful strike from Cole Alexander for, I think, his third goal of the season now. What a response! Well, all it takes is one moment. All it takes is half a yard. And we have a game on our hands. Welcome back. You're watching Odisha against ATK Mohan Bagan. Two teams at different ends of the Hero ISL table. But two goals. One from Manveer and one from Cole Alexander. Setting the tone for what seems to be a remarkable second half. At least we hope if the first one is anything to go by. 1-1 one, one will not do. Marcelino. Boy Krishna for company Marcelino went on his own. Well, why not, he'll think. Given how this game has gone so far. Yeah, maybe they were listening to our little half-time analysis of Phil Brown and myself where we were saying they probably got to revert to their own game rather than look to combine with one another. Onward. He's giving Vinit Rai the confidence to play the game that we know Vinit Rai is capable of playing. Boy Krishna shrugging off a challenge effortlessly. Now Manveer from another tight oh, angle. Oh, oh, oh. And this time struck with the power of Prometheus. To Arshdeep, no chance once again. A stinging effort. One with his left, one with his right for good measure. What a man. Now we just built up Paul Alexander. He got brushed off on the wrong side of Roy Krishna. He once again provided the assist for Manveer. Just laid it out to him. I think the defender on this occasion thinking I'll keep him on his right foot because we know how dangerous his left foot can be. But this is the, this is the ability that Manvi has got now. He struck it, struck it hard, struck it low, and asked questions of the keeper, and the keeper did not have the answers to that. I mean, it's got to go down as a goalkeeping error, but take nothing away from Manvi when you you talk about the young players and work the goalkeeper. Make sure you hit the target. And he's done that. He's kept it hard and low, and the keeper's not managed to get down. 57% humidity. I was told at the start of the game. Manvi. Can he turn provider? He went for goal again. Well, why wouldn't this you? Time aware. Why wouldn't you? You can't blame Manveer. Angles calculated. Diego! Yeah. Top netting. Just didn't come back in time. Back down in time for him. And Nanda Kumar. And on a nice little flick. Diego. Still Diego. Vinit. And Vinit once again, Arindam was scrambling but had it covered. That was wonderful, wonderful football from, from Odisha. As far as Trona probably fancied himself, still space to go for it. Asking for a handball, not given. And, oh, he's finally given it. He thought about it, probably had a quick word with the assistant, and he's pointed to the penalty spot. Will he go to his favourite side, to the keeper's right? Roy Krishna is ready. Arshdeep is ready. Krishna goes for it and gets it. Ten goals for the season. And the old ghosts continue to haunt Odisha. Roy Krishna was the one player left to get on the score sheet tonight. On a night of great goals. And he has found it. 3-1. Never misses from this kind of a situation. Composed and perfect. Long swing from Subashish. Manveer with the flick. Roy Keane always tends to win those. Keeps going. Roy Krishna! Smash and bang! ATK Mohan Bagan! Running away with it. 4-1. Double brace from Roy Krishna and Manveer. Well, what a night Roy Krishna is having. And we, you know, we always talk about how it's almost as if he comes alive in the last few minutes. I mean, that'll go down as probably an assist to Manveer Singh. Returns the favor to Roy Krishna, assisted him on a couple of goals tonight. And he's just done so well. The defender's in a tough position because any challenge would have been another penalty. Shubham Sarangi couldn't make a challenge. Roy Krishna is too strong and too powerful for Odisha tonight. How far are we from that first Hero ISL hat-trick of Season 7? 
How far are we? I won't say it. No. I won't say anything he, about referees. He sacrificed the next 90 minutes for those few seconds because he won't be playing then. Well, ATK Mohan Bagan in a goal fest of an evening. A brace for Manveer. Oh, what a phenomenal brace. What a game. The kind of goals, the kind of attacking from ATK Mohan Bagan and the kind of statement as it ends. It's ATK Mohan Bagan 4, Odisha 1.